Welcome to a fancy man's tea party chat with your host Hickey Bob the Cutlery and of course my partner in crime, Theodore Von Cutlery. Indeed, today on the show we'll be discussing such fancilleries as a gentleman's pipe. Yeah, well, she has a my friend. Or a lovely cane for which to walk with when one needs a cane to walk. I can walk without a cane. You can't walk without a cane. Well, you can, but I wouldn't be caught dead in public. <laughs> <laughs> On with the show. Here's Ryan White with some songs. Yeah. Vendetta Black was a song that started as a very singular idea and ended up becoming two very important ideas. There's a band called Vendetta Red and they had made one of the best records I ever heard in my life called Sisters of the Red Death and I thought it was going to be just huge and it was just, it inspired me so much. And uh, their label, you know, just let it fall flat in the water and it was a complete waste for them. And I was so frustrated by, and then they broke out. I was so frustrated by the death of this band. I was like, well, it's like if they, if this amazing band did this, made this record and it's so incredible and no one cares, then what chance do I have? What, chan what chance does Resident Hero have, you know? And when I really started getting into the meat of the song, it took on the other idea of what are you willing to die for? Does it matter if you succeed or not? what do you love enough to lay down and die for? And uh, you can really hear the frustration in that, but there's a weird sort of dark joy in it too, I think. So, nice Vendetta Black. Well, that was lovely! Join us next week for Werewolves and Lipstick. Do they go together? <laughs>